Hey, DOT community, this is Zalan coming at you with a final push stream for the Fear and Fortune event for Baba Yaga. It has been wild. It has been crazy. This event has definitely, <clears throat> definitely brought out a lot of event players. Top is well over 2 million. Uh, and then as we continue down, it is definitely... A lot of well over a million teams. NTG War just made it into top 50. Well, have been in top 50 for over a day. But NTG Hammer just made their way into top 50. And NTG Legends, we're trying to make it there. We're trying to make it there. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I do have what's left of a three-star left. I have two more event relics still here saved up, plus my gems. So we'll we'll do some more relic pulls here on the stream. I hope to see some of my teammates here joining me in this final push. I know Fury's on, and I know here I'm just looking at the rest of my team. Everybody, Phoenix up there with 30k and Lord Dar, Don Khan, little specialist Alfie, all doing real well. I got 24,600. A lot of players also doing above the 22k. So, very proud. Only just a little bit more from people that are just finishing up. But like I said, I know Fury's going to be working for these next five hours. So he's going to probably put in some more souls above 20, 22 as well. So let's see who might be joining us. What's up, Zeno Christ? What's up, Tagger? What's up, Phoenix? Good to see you all. Thank you for joining. So I'm just going to do, like I said, just some... Uh, finish up this three-star, pull a couple more relics, see if I see if we get a, a little bit more of a push here at the end. We're 64th place, 14 places away from being in top 50. So it's going to be a real crunch. See what happens. Had a lot... Bunch of my teammates really wanted me to stream, so we'll see what happens. No, I'm not procrastinating. I'm way, I'm well over goal. I'm the sixth place in the alliance right now for souls. So no, no procrastination, nation. I finished up. Okay, I, I, I finished this morning. Yeah, I finished this morning, but I've been grinding ever since. What's up, soldier? Oh, what's up, Joe? Good to see you. It's been a while, Joe. Yeah, I saw your video, Pisces. You got the new Titan, Joseph? Nice. I like her. I got mine up to level 30 already. And she's a lot of fun to play with. I'll tell you that. I'm sure it felt weird raiding with Ayaka again. see if Ice is going to join me. He was the one that was so adamant about me streaming tonight. So let's see. Let's see.
Yeah, Pisces, uh, it's pretty much the same way, uh, everywhere. So, yep. I got to the grocery store tonight, actually. And we're still able to get things. And I'm sure people are gonna say, Oh, it's all missing in my, my stores! It's like, yeah, but not everywhere. Not every store has everything missing. Depends on how much of a populated area you're in. Plus, also, the store I went to was uh, only w became a brand new grocery store uh, like a month or so ago. So, they have some extra stock, I would say. Uh, Orion Rigel, people are still playing DOT? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, Phoenix, I thought I'd help some more and spent the gems for a boost relic and ended up with a four star. Very nice, Phoenix. You're here and without using the cheat code I sent you on band. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what's going on? Yeah, all cats. Just cause. I'm, I'm playing with Basathi. Uh, let's see. B -b -b what are you talking about? It's fun. Uh, 14, whatever. <laughs> nice, Seth Roth. I see what you're saying now. What's the little square on my screen? Oh, you mean the cup? That's the uh, the tip jar. That's uh, for some reason it hasn't worked in a while. I don't know why, but for some reason it hasn't worked for a while on my Streamlabs application. But if I mess around with it, maybe it will one of these days. But not right now, soldier. Because the one thing I already, you know, don't like to do is figure stuff out while I'm streaming. <laughs> There's a two star pulling the last two relics that I have here. What's up, Ice? There you are. What's up, homie? Man, I was knee deep in uh, oh Westworld. Holy cow! All right. What an awesome show this is gonna be. Right? It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. 
I was underwhelmed by season one and two. Had very little hope until I saw the preview. Oh, no, I liked liked season two. And I liked season one, too. I liked it when they were in the park. I liked it when they were in the park. But then again... The park was an interesting world, but talk about some monologues, bro. Mm -hmm. There were some brutal monologues those first two seasons. This is definitely the texture of the show. I'll enjoy it for sure. Now. Am I going to do the relic event this next week, Pisces Shark? Uh, it depends. We'll have to see. We will have to see on Tuesday. We'll Did see. you watch Ex Machina? What? Did you watch Ex Machina? Uh, no. Oh, you didn't see that one. Okay. So they've definitely taken a page out of that movie. And so it's it's similar premise of these AI that infiltrate the real world. So... Well, I've also uh, I also heard something from somebody that was talking about premises for this season, and that was that the real world that they're in is another simulation, a simulation. Another simulation. Well, and they even mentioned it in the episode where it'd be crazy for 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 a simulation to be inside of an insim- a simulation. Okay, so I just finished probably five minutes after that part, so I haven't finished the episode yet. So I, want to, I didn't want to leave you hanging. Oh, okay. Another 20 minutes. Okay, okay. But, I don't know. When they when they mentioned that, that the, these these two guys were just in conversation, and they, when they mentioned that, they were simulation instead of in simulation, I was just like, wait a second. Could this be all well, just this? Nice, nice observance, bro. Could it be in simulation nice. instead of simulation? Remember, all these shows, they always pick up, they always have all sorts of crazy things inside of them, and they try First to... First episode's most important. Always. Yeah, first episode sets a lot of uh, sets a lot of arcs and uh, sets a lot of groundwork for how everything's gonna be. What's up, BMT? What's up, mother trucker? Um, so it's been long. What's our strategy here, bro? What, what are we gonna do? We are. Well, I pulled two two stars. Oh man, we are eighty down. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. I, I just pulled some more, but you know. <sighs> Is it really gonna do much? I I, I probably. What's your, what's your soul count right now? A uh, mine, I have twenty five thousand. Okay, so you got me beat. So mm. twenty four. Yeah. Three sixty. Yeah, I'll pull two more. Now the question is, I guess this will be a D combo. Are we gonna try to kick some people that haven't finished at the last minute so we can drop down to four K? <laughs> Nah, probably oh. not. Okay. Probably not. Double Oaken Tour. It might be. We'll see. We'll see Double what Fury Oaken does. Tour. I mean, Fury says he's got 15 saved relics. Come on, Fury. He said he, he was one of those that requested the stream. I know. So 15 saved relics, that's only going to what? Bring us, was it 500 per relic? So maybe six grand, six grand. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, well, hang on. Well, Chad's, well, Chad's bit, still offering $40 in Google Play gift cards. Aren't if, you a, a, a droid user? Yeah. So why don't you take it, man? Take a little Google Play action. If I took forty dollars, all right, I just got a one and a three star. That's ten relics. I have to stay up pretty late to grind out ten relics. I don't know. One and a three star. Right now, it's all about the you know we got this far. And why are we just letting it just completely fall through our we fingers? We got this far, Zalon. Come on, you're leading the charge, buddy. I, I, I hope so. At this point, it it. You're pulling a vowel. Pull a vowel. It's sixty-eight k. Yeah. My goodness, man, that's a legendary performance. Oh, soldiers asking if anybody's job. Well, I heard about Verizon. I heard Verizon shut down a lot of their locations. 
I wonder if, uh, I mean, soldier, don't you work in a big call center building with like hundreds and hundreds of people? I'm sure they shut those buildings down. I don't know why they would want anybody, but a lot of those associates to be coming in. You think a lot of them, if they're, especially if they're call centers, workers can work from home. Can you do that? No? Do they just channel the phone calls to your house? Is that oh, so many. You know what's funny? Only in the past few days, I have a speed test app on my phone. And just in the oh, past... Oh, for your just, uh, Wi-Fi? Just, yeah, just to see exactly what... Just to see what it's like whenever I go anywhere. Just to see if I could do anything, you know, YouTube-related or anything like that. And uh, the speed test app, only in the last few days, has been coming up with notifications on my phone saying, Working from home? Want to check your speed? <laughs> I'm like, uh, no, I'm not working from home, but I, you know what? I, probably a lot of other people are. <laughs> Might as well. Check check your speed working from home? Bro, how about that Westworld drop in the beginning when they said the experience wasn't the only thing they were selling you? When they were talking about selling people's thoughts? Oh, yeah. Information from helping their mind? I was like, oh, man. Yeah. Brilliant. They're trying to get, oh yeah, yeah, but our call centers are still open. They're trying to get people set up to work from home. Yeah, I'm sure. I would hope so. I mean, most of the people that I know that work for call center companies up here for like big companies, you know, big companies too that I don't want to say, you know, they're just as big as, as Verizon because PepsiCo is pretty big, I would say. And... Their call center people, they only bring them in periodically, but a majority of them all work from home because it saves a lot of money on facility costs uh, to just have them, totally. to have them all work from home. You know, you don't have to have massive facilities with multiple floors and blah, 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 blah. If you can just tr have one s smaller training facility and pretty much bring people in periodically, like, you know, you're first couple hundred workers come in during week one week two week three week four and every month people come in for a regular training and yeah you can have a massive force out there and only a small facility and a lot of jobs from call centers are like that nowadays all i know is that hearing soldiers say opportunity all weekend was amazing right and every time it soldier says opportunity, it's like it's like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Okay, you have to if, if you're drinking alcohol, you have to take a shot. If you're if you're, drink, if you're drinking beer, you have to chug your beer. You know, drinking games for each stream for the devs. It's soon for BMT. It's Big Daddy. Mm hmm. Soldier, it's opportunity. Yes, it's up. Yes. Now, the coronavirus gives you the opportunity to work from home. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you the opportunity. Now, this Baba Yaga, it gives you the, the opportunity to now use them raised dead spells. Yeah. Raised dead spells. Raised dead spells all day. <laughs> they give you the, uh, they give you that uh, AP. Yo, but I, I'm, Zalan, I'm. Zalan is AP. Yeah, Zalan Zalan is AP. Yo, that, I changed that up now. If you didn't notice, my channel just says straight up Zalan now, just so the, the developers. About time. So brother. the developers can just handle it. They're like, we can't handle it. Time. I'm like, oh my gosh, relax, guys. You're British. The this devs. The, the devs, the Daniel. No, the de that the devs are just all working from home. That that the literally the game is going to be run from home offices, basically. Everybody's probably just... probably not going to see any drop-off in productivity because yeah. they'll probably do a lot anyway. Well, a majority of it all is all just going to be handled from home. All the artists, they can work from home. All the... all Everything that they do, except for the servers, which, again, not all the time, not everything is even kept right there in their building because servers sometimes are outsourced as, as well uh so yeah they probably don't have to go to the office at all for anything i don't i do not say opportunity like bill cosby <laughs> oh yes he does opportunity the opportunity yes
Yeah, I bet you sold your right, wallet. I'm, I'm 200 bet... souls behind you now, Zalon. What? 200. Yeah, baby. Um, I, 63rd. If I, if I have to pull any more, I have to buy some gems. 63rd. Oh, man. 174 yeah, means... Oh, yeah, actually, we're gaining. We're gaining right we now. Gaining? Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Ooh, so towards 73,000 souls. Oh, boy. Oh, my. We're going to earn that Oaken Tour. Gonna earn it. <laughs> we don't want no oak and tor. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like it's like a cheer father. a cheer at a school. We don't want no oak and tor. All right. I'm debating if I get the gem plunge. We got we got to move up in souls if I'm gonna if I'm gonna buy anything. Well. Yeah, I'm I'm grinding right now. I'm finishing out both these two stars, and then I'm gonna probably I'll dip into the gems a little bit too if I have to here. See, I'm out. I use my gems and all my relics, man. Mm. I'm I'm out. I have to spend cash. Mm. Well, go hit up Chad. I, I have, dude. I don't use Google Play Store. I'm an iOS user. Ah. Oh. Well, that's what you get for being an iOS user. Boo! Uh, that's what we get. That's what we get. <laughs> that's what you get. We pull out our phone. You don't get we pull any opp- phone. You don't we'll get no shame. opportunity. You don't get any we opportunity. Don't, we don't have all shame. We don't have to like duck our phone. People are like, "What's that? What are you using?" Oh, it's an Android. I promise. I like the open open OS. All right, CB CB Browns fan, MTG just pulled a three star. Oh, I got that Baba Yaga Daniel. I don't need the triple stack. This is all for top 50 right now. There's people... Top 50. With the opportunity for two Baba Yagas. <laughs> yes. Two Baby Yogas. Yes. <laughs> top 50 gives you the opportunity to get two Baba Yagas. Just pulling another oh, one. I, don't, I, I didn't need another one, but I'm pulling another one. C. Brown's fan just said he got a three star, so let's see what we get. You got a three star. Oh, I got a one star. Oh, come on, Zalen. <laughs> Zalen. Zalen. That's a lot. Yeah. Did, did we not call B saying that her stomach would be upset yesterday? Mm, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I've been, listen, I've been rewatching, uh, not rewatching, I should say, but uh, now that I got Disney Plus, uh, I'm actually going through and watching every episode of The Simpsons from the beginning. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's just another one of those. It's just one. It's just one of those shows that I just have to get every episode down and say, "All right, I I got thirty seasons of The Simpsons, you know, under the belt." So, because I know, oh my gosh, it's thirty seasons. Yeah, I'm already in. I'm already in season three, and I'll tell you, um, for the for the diehard fans, I don't even know what I was gonna say. I totally lost what what I was gonna what, what I was gonna talk about. But you anyway, lost your train of thought. Lost my train of thought. It's you a bit... sound like George Costanza's dad. Mm-hmm. I lost my train of thought. Thirty seasons of Simpsons and. No, I forget. I I was and... I, I just gave you a bunch of background and I I totally forget what I was linking that to. But it's it all right. It was epic setup. It's epic all right. Setup thirty. 30 seasons of Simpsons and can't recall. No, I can't recall, can't recall what today. I was what I was trying to what I was trying to link together. So I'm not really concerned about it. Just back to grinding. All right. So tomorrow morning I will have exactly 1500 DGs. <laughs> Question is, Zalon, do I do three pulls well, before the altars change, or do I wait? Oh, you see wait. What's about to you wait. I did one 500 pull and was lucky to get a four star XP relic. You wait. Okay, so, so you think I so should So I'm going to get 70 DGs. Oh my gosh, that's exactly 2,000. And three. Nice. So with rank rewards, I will be at 2,000 DGs, allowing me to do four pulls, but hopefully whenever the DG alters are actually finally changed. But, but some people are a little nervous. 
that we're going to lose. Uh, oh, maybe she might, we might not get 70 DGs. We're this other team is catching up. Uh, well, if if we get what 60 DGs, I'll get at least 10 in the, in the, the little wonderful uh fountain. So don't worry. Eternal Shrine. So don't worry. I know I'll get at least 10 from the Eternal Shrine. The Eternal Shrine's paid off, man. Oh, paid yeah. Off. Yeah, Eternal Shrine definitely pays off now. If you're a long-time player, a if, you, if you plan on playing this game for any long period of time, and you don't have the Eternal Shrine, now you're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> I heard a little echo. Miss yeah, Jim it's because Jim joined. He's joined us. Jimothy! Nah. Not me. Not, what's a nah? Nah for what? It's not me that joined. It's my alter oh. ego. What, what, well, talk to us, alter ego. No, it's BMT. It's not Oh, BMT. BMT. It ain't Jim. Mm -hmm. We got BMT in the house. What's our rant tonight, BMT? What do we got? What's the rant tonight? Yeah, what do we got? Yeah. Um, how about customer service and just totally screwing you sometimes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So, fill so us in. Well, yeah, fill us in, BMT. What happened? I uh, I purchased two Head Start packs on Friday. Okay. And I just kind of I didn't even pay attention. I I just I purchased them. Everything went through. It looked like okay. And then I was going in to count my relics. To see exactly, you know, because I was thinking about purchasing a couple with the four stars in them because we have that all you relic event coming up. I was like, if I don't use it for this event, I'll use it for the all relic event. What's the difference? Good call. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, that's what I noticed. I don't even, I didn't even have the head start packs in my relic stories. I'm looking all around for them, can't find them. Restarted my game, blah, blah, blah. So I set customer service by a, a uh, you know, message. And I get that usual, you know, we'll be responding with a 24 hour kind of thing. And I'm like, I wonder if they're even gonna respond because of this coronavirus stuff. They all infected. Yeah, so I, I've went through everything these last couple of days. I, I uninstalled the game, I reinstalled it. I went down and got an iTunes card, you know, tried. Tux actually went online and found me a customer service line to Zynga. Really? A number? Yeah. It's a number you can actually call, and you have to press a number for, they got different options, you know how they got for, for billing and customer support, and this yeah. and that. So I actually got to talk to a person. If you're a stressed out BMT, press four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I was... <laughs> This went on for a day and a half, and I still ain't got nothing. I tried to purchase gems even, and it came, once I put in my password and everything, it came up, just purchase canceled. I'm like, what the? So I finally called Apple, told them what was going on. They said, no, every, everything's good on our end. You know, you got the, uh, we sent you the, uh, the receipts and everything. And so I looked at my email. I had the receipts. They took the money out and stuff, told them what happened, and they refunded my money. I was like, all right, but it doesn't really help me. I was like, yeah, yeah, Apple's always great about that. One of the best companies. You, you tell them a problem with anything like that, they're all good. So they refunded my money. In the meantime, talk, like I said, talks found me that number. I called them. You know what their biggest thing was? Well, you got a, you got a uh, refund from Apple. That's You should have called us first or contact. I said, I did contact you two days ago. You never responded. <laughs> So I, I still cannot purchase gems or anything. This Zynga, yeah, this, a, this Zynga call center, until though. I talk to a Zynga account manager. Okay. That's oh, rough. Now, was this a this Zynga call center? Was this like what country do you feel like it was in? Who like what kind of person were you talking to, accent wise? Well, it was in America. It was it was it was a U.S. call center. Oh, right really? That's yeah. incredible. Wow. That is God bless, God bless talks. I mean, he went in there and he found that, you know, he did some research and he went in there and found that for me. And I called him and I, I have to speak to a, a uh, Zynga account specialist before I can do it. I'm like, really? 
if you would have just contacted me, I would have never would have called Apple, never would have gotten the refund. And now you're telling me because I got a refund that my basically my account is frozen? I've never heard of such nonsense. That's a rough one, man. Angry. I've never heard Angry. of such nonsense. Angry. Well, God, you know, God bless people like Val and Tox and them because they've had stuff like that happen to them before. Tox actually finished the event for me. He got 47000 He made up my difference because I can't compl- I only got 7,000 souls. Oh, I cannot pull a relic. brutal. Tox went ahead and finished. He, he did the event for me. And Val, do you know what Val is sitting at right okay, now? Okay, well, no, no, okay. Well, yesterday was 68K. Yeah. What, what is it now? She's at 83,000. Oh, wow. my goodness. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, now, I'm not saying Val did that for me. I'm just oh, saying my she my does stuff like that for the team. <laughs> and she understands because she Jesus Christ, Jim, like are you okay? <laughs> I, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I, I, I was taking a drink. I got a, I got a Coke here. I was taking a drink and it kind of went down the wrong too. Say, see, Jim. <laughs> I had so, to pull it. I had to pull it. What's up, Tommy? That's a legendary fall. So that's what I've been dealing with the last couple of days. It's been stressing me the fuck out. Tommy says, uh, Tommy says, uh, guess BMT is going back on leave. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe, Vacation. maybe, maybe. Anyway, so Daniel, you said uh, he's got a question for you, Jim. Is it worth to buy the starter packs or is it better to get 72K gems for a hundred bucks? He's asking you, Jim. Well, they're both great. The, the 72K gems for $99 is a great deal because regularly you get 60,000. So you get 20, 12,000 basically free. It's but the starter pack, it's relics. about, the starter packs is, is, is that, the thing about them is you get guaranteed relics. You get the three star, the two star, and the four star. You pull, you can make twenty pulls, which I've done in the past before, and get nothing but one stars. Damn. That's the great thing about the head start packs. Yeah, very true. Very, very true. And Phoenix very guaranteed. Fear, Phoenix says. Who's the one bragging about Ozark? I watched two seasons and now I'm so hooked and waiting for season three. Yes, Phoenix. Ozark season three is coming soon. I am thinking about doing something on Ozark when it does, uh, getting close to coming out. So, just to hype it up. All right, so here's the math. If you buy, I mean, again, Prometheus would be a stick on this, but the uh, approximate math is this. You get 36... Relics if you spend 72k gems. However, if you do the head start packs with a guaranteed two star, three star combo, you get 28 relics if you spend a hundred dollars worth. So, technically, it's a better value just to do the head start packs because the likelihood of you pulling one stars is incredibly high. Yeah. If you do the 72k gems. Sixty first. Yeah, it's, it's about those guaranteed relics, and you know how many souls you're going to get with two three stars and two two stars. Yeah, you're or you're going to do the the, the nineteen ninety nine one. You get a four star, three star, two star, and one star. But there's really no soul advantage. It's like a, it's not very much that you get more. It's about the same cost per soul. From what I think, we about. need about seventy k still. Ice. Ah, oh, seventy. My goodness. 70. Oh, Zalen. What are you going to do? 70K. Well, we'll be sitting in the same uh, boat as Jim. We'll each have one bob of yogurt, and uh, we'll be good. Yeah, I, yeah but it just... It, what makes me more upset is not it's that I couldn't... You know, first, first event that it's I couldn't ever complete or contribute. I mean, I contributed to the team because I got, you know, 7,000 just from grinding because I've used those... Soul, there's relics I got you know, you know so far in the yeah. award, but seven thousand is nothing in a twenty-two thousand. Watch they kick you tonight, right before season change. That one. <laughs> well, at least you ha- okay. At least you have souls, though. At least you have souls. If you couldn't get any souls at all, it'd be bad. It'd be very bad. Jim, how mad would you yeah. be if they booted you right before seasons change? Oh, I'd I'd go off someplace to my by myself. 
<laughs> I'd, I'd leave. I'd leave the alliance. You all would never hear from me again. That'd be the most rough burn of all time. It would be rough. Which we all know that we never would do. Well, that would never kick me. Val, Val's your queen, man. She's your queen. Sage would never kick me for that matter. I mean, he, he knows every event that I've ever entered, I've finished, and, you know, yeah, you I'm got, an officer. You, you, you got a you know, miss. So. You got a miss under your belt. You're fine. You got a couple of get out of jail free cards for sure. Oh, man, all I know is that when I wasn't able to finish Progenitor, I was 2K souls short. Man, I had to pay penance for so long with Oberon. What's up, My Ian? goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I felt like I didn't even get any souls. It felt so, felt so bad. What's up, Zaret? Oh, yeah, we are, we are staying safe. Staying safe. Good to see you, Zaret. What's up, Kofi? Everybody needs to stay safe. It's crazy, and... and- Ohio and West Virginia, they've closed all the schools for a minimum of three weeks. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing here in Pennsylvania. It's same thing in Pennsylvania. Same yeah, exact thing. The liquor stores. T- listen, right the liquor stores of, uh, are closing at 5 p.m. tomorrow and for the foreseeable future. The, the state run liquor stores are going to be closed at 5 p.m. tomorrow. And that is it. No more booze. It's like, it's like <laughs> prohibition all over again. Well, okay, listen. I went straight to the grocery store and got beer. Okay? So. You're ready. Yeah. No, you I'm yeah, ready. No, well, yeah. I'm de- I, I, that's not the only thing I got at the grocery store. But I definitely went and stocked up on a bunch. And I could still oh, get. I, I could closed st- all the bars and restaurants tonight at 9 o'clock until further notice. Oh, yeah. All restaurants now? All all. They closed all the restaurants and all the bars. You for uh, for um, for dine in. You can still get carry out, or if they have a drive through or delivery. Okay. Oh, you can't go into the restaurant. Listen to what some of the schools in the local or area bar. are doing. Listen to this: the schools are offering from eleven o'clock to one o'clock starting tomorrow. You kids, children under the age of eighteen or under, children can come to schools. Out, obviously outside and they are getting they are you can get um takeaway lunches for free if you're 18 and under oh, that's good i was really concerned about that because the because they need areas. to get rid of the food because if they're not going to be in session for three to four weeks the food is that they have there is just going to be wasted so yeah, so they're wow. de- they're actually giving away food for free between for like two hours at, or what is it, eleven to two eleven to one eleven to one. It's like two two hours every day around lunchtime. Well, for a lot of those cool. kids, that's all they have is those, is those government sponsored meals. Yeah. That's a real thing. Yeah, because I went I went to the store yesterday, and it is it is absolutely crazy the amount of open shelf space that they have. Oh, yeah. And this and the ones Zalon might know. It's called Kroger. It's it's a big chain. Mm-hmm. It's on the East Coast mostly, but it's, it's called Kroger. It's, it's a big chain. There was no canned goods. There was there was no canned peas, no canned corn, you know, lima beans. There was no um, like cans of Denny Moore beef stew or canned meats or anything. There was no bottled water. There was no milk. There was no toilet paper, no paper towels. No bread. There was no bread. Absolutely. They they had bread. No, they did. Okay, when I just went to the grocery store, there was absolutely no bread. There was absolutely no, uh, there was no meats. Meat was very, like. Salon, how are you going to make your sandwich, bro? Well, I still have, I still have, (laughs) I still have meat and cheese. I still have it. And I actually got more peanut butter just in case. So. Peanut butter. Black gold. <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> well, if, if people would just buy, if, if people would just do their normal grocery shopping instead of hoarding stuff. Oh yeah, it's infuriating. Oh, there was limits. There was limits on the toilet paper. There was still there was still toilet paper on the shelf, but it was very small, a very limited amount, and it was just straight up signs everywhere, like two per customer. You know. Yeah, but they put those signs, like in Kroger, they put those signs up after they got a bare shelf. I'm like, well, what good does that do? <laughs> I know, it's too little too late. 
Yeah, well, in Pennsylvania, it wasn't too little too late. They actually were able to keep a lot more stuff on the shelves a little bit longer, I think. At least in the store. There's fights breaking out at Costco and stuff. That's just crazy. Yeah, well. Get your hands off my TP. (laughs) (laughs) It's like Black Friday out there, but worse. Right? Here they drop off food at the bus stops. That's pretty cool, Tommy. Had the best look ever for me. This event did seven pulls in a row. Got two three stars, then a four star, then a three star, then a four star, then two three. Eight pulls was one star. Wow, Ian, that's not bad. Ian, yeah, don't make me boo you. That is happening everywhere when you have kids on free lunch program. Yeah. Yeah, Eric. Well, I mean, the school's got to get rid of the food. Disney parks, they're doing the same thing. They're do- they're donating a lot of their food because they just they're got- closing. Well, the, yeah, they are closed as of tomorrow. Tomorrow, nobody's going to work. But uh, all the a lot of the food in the parks is being donated because they can't do anything with it. Wow. If you're not going to sell the food in multiple, like you know, three weeks, they got to get rid of a lot of that stuff. So yeah, unless it's unless it's a frozen product, they probably just give everything else away. Yeah. Even in the, even though they're big coolers, I mean, that stuff it isn't going to last that long. But when you're used to feeding a lot, like as many people as they get in their parks on a daily basis, their stocks have to, they probably have about, I don't know, food for a week and a half, maybe two weeks ahead, you know, on a regular basis. Just like, you know, the food managers that have to be able to monitor everything. I'd say about probably about two weeks worth of food that they probably keep on hand. In each park, so and I mean, you multiply that by the number of restaurants and concession stands they have in each park. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of food, right? Because grocery stores typically have about two weeks, two and a half weeks of food, sometimes three, depending on the size of the grocery store. Um, because a lot of people don't. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I'm someone who t- who has enjoyed uh, the. Uh, I guess the uh, programs that have included like prepping for any kind of disaster, you know, whether you're uh, hardcore preppers or if you're just people that just like to be prepared and think about situations before they actually do happen. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, grocery stores don't have that much, as much food as a lot of people think. Cause if you, I worked at one at least for six years when I was in high school and college and you know, they get trucks Twice a week, sometimes three times a week, depending on the size of the store. So most people don't know that, you know, grocery stores will run out of food a lot quicker than you'd believe. <laughs> Hell, a lot of people are noticing that now. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. I was... They did have cookies, though, so I got me a pack of Oreos. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of that. We'll see a lot of those products aren't uh... – there's more options. Uh, and also, too, as well, uh, you know, they're considered non-essentials. So that's why a lot of that stuff is still on the shelves. But I got cookies, too, man. Well, what else did I get? I got a whole bunch of... I got a whole bunch of stuff for lunches, but also for, for work. A lot of stuff that I could just throw in, throw in my lunchbox. Because I'm not... I, I, I play... Well, no, I'm going to work tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, because work, when you work outside landscaping, it's, uh, I mean, I don't consider that a dangerous environment. <laughs> really. Um, not around people, except for the few people I work with. So, right. unless they ban people from being able to drive on the roads, you know. Well, it's kind of getting to that point because they're closing permit offices, which means my trucks can't get any permits, which means they're not moving. Mm. We'll see what happens. Which means I'm not working, which I don't really mind. I'm okay with having some time off. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I know a lot of people that aren't working right now, actually. Um, my old, Some of my old colleagues that used to work in uh, Staples, uh, they're, they're all closed. Uh, corporate shut them all down for multiple weeks. They're also cleaned out already too as well. Like all the products that anybody would be coming in the stores to get right now, like all the Purell and all the cleaning products that they normally staff, like, like they usually have for offices, 
because a lot of offices come in and, and pick up a lot of their cleaning products there. Um, and yeah. that's all empty. All that stuff's gone. Ice, what's, what's it like out in California there, bud? I don't know. Is Ice still here? Oh, he's on mute. Yeah, he's on mute. Oreos will outlast the virus. Well, actually, we know that Twinkies will outlast the virus. Twinkies outlast everything. Yes, they do. So what's the gap? <laughs> Still bad? Eh, 71K. Still pretty bad. So, I'm going to stream for a little bit longer. Not going to stream forever, though, because unfortunately to say I can't carry the entire team. But we're going to keep... We're going to... Where's Legends at? We're 71K back from top 50. We're, 60, oh, we're 61st you. place, so we're 11, 11 positions away. So we're, we're, we're close. But oh. unfortunately to say... There would have to be a lot more grinding done by a lot more players. So we'll see. We'll see what what happens. But this would be the uh, the Brits waking up in the morning, All right? And carrying it through. But um, I imagine it's going to be a little nutty there at the last hour of the event, just like it is for any big event. Oh yeah. And if we're already st if we're still seventy one k back right now, people are going to be pushing hard again at the very end anyway. So again, it's it's looking pretty uphill, unfortunately to say. But let's right. see. I think the rest. Of, yeah, I'll do these five battles for this one star, and then uh, maybe grind out whatever portal stones I have left out. But that'll probably be be it for tonight. I do appreciate everybody, of course, joining me in chat and on Discord. Stream was not super, super, super long, but at the same time, too, yeah, I kind of, I, I knew more or less going into the stream that this was more or less going to be the case, but I still was hoping for maybe, you know, a little bit more of a push and maybe some more people going to sleep <laughs> from the other teams, but. Uh, my, my stream wasn't real long last yesterday either, so it's all good, whatever you could do. Yeah, of course, of course. Also, too, if well, I, was, I wasn't if, planning on if streaming I, either, so... If I wasn't going to work... Well, I wasn't planning on streaming either, but there were some people that were really excited for me to stream. I mean, I had to, I had to update... I went to stream, and I had to update my DOT, because that's how long it's been. And that was a big update, that last one. Yeah. It took, like, half hour to update my iPad. 26.8. Let me see something real quick. Eh, yeah. Fifth place. Fury, what's up, buddy? Hello, hello, hello. What's up, Fury? I don't know what you're doing talking in this chat. You need to be grinding. Yeah, Fury. Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. No, Always, no, buddy. No problem, John Bravo. Oh, yeah, no problem, Churro. But I also wanted to show, I also kind of wanted to show exactly what happened in this event. Like, this is, I guess you can call, quote unquote, I'm doing the little air quotes, DOT community. So, quote unquote, history in the making. <laughs> Hashtag go Dan. Ah, uh, Phoenix, sometimes it's that way, bud. Yeah, sometimes it is, Phoenix. Sometimes it is on events like this. Now I do want to say yeah, I do yeah. I'd say that a lot of the players that came on everybody finished that I know was the initial goal but I know a lot of players weren't thinking oh yeah we're gonna have to do finish plus you know finish plus six because that's pretty much what it looks like about finish plus maybe eight for everybody six or eight somewhere in there and you pretty much got it but we have way too many players that are all at the twenty two thousand mark. That if they actually added an additional, you know, six to eight thousand to each one of them, there's no, there's no way we wouldn't be in top fifty right now. But again, that's comes along with the 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 
knowing the number to, to judge ahead of time, and a lot of times it's a bit hard to call. I have a check. Is Hammer and War in top 50? Mm-hmm. Yeah, both of both of them are. We're just trying Not to get sure. to, we're just trying to get the third team up there as best we can. But like I said, unfortunately, right. it looks like a lot of the players are just doing as just like a straight grind after the twenty two k mark more than a um, push, pushing with relics. Oh, what's up, Zade? Hello. Look at that, Zade Gamers Hello. here. What's going on, Zade? Now, see, this is what happens when when things are going on in the world, is people d don't have to work, people have time, people have time to play DOT. So, what's going on, Zade? Uh, guess what? This happened now. What happened now? I just got, I, I just got my uh, channel back now. You got your, your original channel back? Yeah. Really? Yeah, man, since November. Damn. Yeah. So, is it the one that actually has the 10K subscribers on it? Yes, and um, it has uh, 11K now. Oh, really? Was that the channel that was posting all sorts of, like, crazy stuff? Yes. Okay. So. Yeah, so. Interesting. Because I wondered why I was yeah, so uh, why I was like, why am I subscribed to this channel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been, uh, because most of my uh, family me members were also subscribed to it. So they're like, w like, w what's going on? Like, what's this? <laughs> <We posted. laughs> yeah, exactly. So like, the uh, mommy is acts and stuff like that. Yeah. But they had to get rid of all the, uh, all the uh, um, videos. So it, it's all gone now, so I I need to start making uh, like new ones. Yeah. Well, you got some work to do. Yeah. Definitely got some. Man, yeah, Jason no, Jerome right. has a pretty good Zay gamer impersonation. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and What's for, up, Zay? For, are you back in NTG land? What are you doing? And for uh, for DOT, the issue I have since the beginning of the year, I can't. Um, I can't uh, log in inside the the game. I contacted the the, uh, the support team, but they didn't even respond. So, oh, don't get me started. <laughs> yeah, oh, Jim goes. will tell you. <laughs> Jim will tell you. So I have no idea. Like mm. literally, I can't lo log in. My game is like stuck in the uh, in the uh, national. Um, the uh, logo stuff that way this stock Trump. Well, see, just like that though. When when, when I contact them or when Zay contacts them and they don't even respond, that's what really pisses me. At least respond to me. Yeah. You know what? It's Send me an email that says "f you." At least you're responding. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, man. So Zade, Zade, what is your first so, video you're gonna make then? As soon as you can get back in. Uh, and uh, I just think about it. Do a, do a customer support video. I'll jump yeah. on and help you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, uh, so that's why. That's why I haven't done any, uh, um, any uh, DOT v uh, video this year. I haven't done any because I, I, I can't even um, uh, uh, play the game. So there's no point. So. Well, we miss Hopefully. hearing you, Zaid. Glad that you hopped on. Yeah. Everybody got time on their hands right now. <laughs> yeah, I, that's why I said that. I said, yeah, everybody's got time right now. Everybody, yo, Bo, Bo popped in, and a bunch of people have popped into out. other people's streams over this last weekend, and it's not just because of Baba Yaga. It's because people got time. <laughs> <laughs> I just got word from the CDC that now they are banning gatherings of more than 50 people for the next well, eight, eight weeks. Uh, 50 people. 50 for the next eight weeks. Well, you know why they said it to 50 is, people, right? Uh, no, why 50? They said it to 50 people. That way Joe Biden could still have his rallies. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, right there. Right there. Oh, gosh. Middle America has spoken. Oh, man. Let's not get too political now. Let's not get too political. Yeah, I know, I know. I just, I, I, I just well, don't I'm know. I'm a little nervous. You guys want to get them, uh, get them lost viewership. Oh, well, let's just not get too wild and crazy. Hey, uh, hey, BMT, why don't you see if you can purchase, purchase one of those uh, fortunate deals? Just see what happens. Purchase oh. one of the what? The fortunate deals. What's a fortunate deal? You can get the rat, Jinshu, at level 10, along with the oh, I would have, rat. I would have purchased that. A four Look, star I'm logging into, I was logging into DOT because you said that, but I, I, I would have purchased that regularly. <laughs> It's for the for the dynamic value of one hundred dollars. Yeah, no dynamic value. Oh, uh, Tommy wants to know where that CDC ban is actually at. Is that just a, a blanket ban, or is that a, a in a certain area? Uh, it's California for sure. Yeah, one of my one of my dear friends just contacted me because it has huge implications for a lot of a lot of things. All right. Looking forward. Well, so what we're looking at is. I got twenty seven thousand myself. Definitely put well in. Well done, you. Well, I definitely. Yeah, well done. So yeah. Long. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. But I'm also looking at what everybody else has got in, and it's not like we didn't put in the effort. I'll tell you that. But you know what? What's D got anyway? What's D got in here? I might have passed her already. Hold on. Well, she's I thought she was supposed to stream. Twenty twenty three thousand. I know she was. She was. <laughs> So. Oh, D in her stream. I know, I know, right? Oh, D. So. We had we had a streak for a whole two weeks. Mm hmm. We had a streak going. Yeah, it was good. Long, longest streak? No, no, it wasn't. She's done. She's done a lot longer for a lot of a lot of uh, streams a lot longer than that. But Tariel came back. I want to give a shout out to Tariel. Twenty six thousand. Well done, man. Yeah, I know, right? You were uh, you were dragging pretty hard as of yesterday. So well done. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so let's just take a quick look. Still four hours left to go at the leaderboard. Definitely a very popular event. Congratulations, everybody. Very. Raider. History in the making. History, is a history in the making. Yes, most definitely. Well, they they had the top ten teams had a million, not even twenty four hours into the event. I know they were full finishers. They were well, this double finisher team. Oh yeah, double yeah, finisher. They were, they were they were running hard. A double finish is just absurd. Oh, Raiders is at sixteen. Yeah. Are you now? Well done. Yep. You're not only going to get you a Baba Yaga, Jim, you're going to get yourself a pre-level Baba Yaga Ooh. at a whole level what? 10? Level 10. Yeah. Come on now. I'm skipping out on those first five. 10 levels. Oh, level 5. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. All right, DOT Water. community. Thank you again. Level 5. I want to thank everybody for joining in here. I'd Zade Gamer here at the end. Jim, Ice, everybody in the chat, of course. I do appreciate everybody that uh, participated in this event. It has been absolutely ridiculous, and oh, I, I hope everybody's I, I hope everybody's set for the relic event that comes out on Tuesday, and we'll see exactly what else is in there besides wild arrows and the frostbow. I have two frostbows, so I'm not exactly excited about that. But if I if if I do want to get a second wild arrows, we'll see, or if I, I might just. I might just grab a, a relics for a future event. We'll see what happens. So, hope everybody enjoyed the event, and uh, I will uh, talk to you all again very soon. Have a good one.